So hi there, as some of you will see uh, in a previous video of an unboxing, I bought a new Asus monitor here so I could set it up with my laptop on the desk. But one of the reasons I bought the uh, monitor for here is I also want to run uh, and play my Xbox games on here uh, without moving my Xbox, which is in the living room or the living room space. I mean, the, these rooms are sort of connected here. Um, because I also like occasionally, uh, if I'm sitting in the armchair watching telly and I get bored and I want to play Xbox, I want to play uh, Xbox on my main TV. So uh, the project that I set myself, uh, the task, is to set it up so that I can use one Xbox, two screens. Um, and I've already done a similar project um, over these few days, because I've had off work. Upstairs, I have Xbox in my daughter's room, but my son also likes to play the Xbox. So I ran another uh, HDMI cable up through the ceiling of my daughter's room, across the loft, down the ceiling and into my son's uh, room connecting into the TV he's got in there. So um, that runs so he can then play the Xbox in his room without uh, bothering his sister, although he still bothers his sister. So that was a project I sent myself. Um, that seemed to work all right. Now I've got this monitor here. I want to do the same in the uh, here in the living room and in this office space. And so that's what we're going to be doing. I'll just show you what the setup. So here's the here's sort of my desk setup, and I like to sort of maybe play. I'd like to sort of play the Xbox here, and also have the computer screen here occasionally. Um, but meanwhile, we just go over here the darker room. So normally um, I sit over here and I'll be playing on the telly which is over here. So the idea is that I want to be able to decide if I want to sit here and play the Xbox or basically be in the office space here um, and play the Xbox here. So this is what we're going to set up and this video was shot over a few days, so it's a bit bitty. Some of it was originally started off to be a review of the Asus monitor. Um, so I apologize for the sort of slight mix. I had to change cameras midway through and I say it's a couple of, uh, shot over a couple of days. But hopefully you get the idea uh, of, of the project and how I kind of set things up and some of the cabling and decisions I made, some of the mistakes I made as well, and hopefully uh, it will benefit. So. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've got the new uh, Asus um, monitor set up with my laptop. And I've extended the screen across there, as you can see. Now the idea is, so obviously we can gaming, we can game on the PC uh, and use this screen here. I've also got an Xbox in, the, in my sort of main living room over there. Uh, but sometimes I think I want to sit here in my, can you see my bright red gaming chair uh, and maybe do some streaming and stuff. And I want to do it here where I've got the gaming PC next to uh, the main screen here rather than have to take that all up and take it into the living room. And it's not the, the best place I find for streaming. So um, I've got an extra long HDMI cable which is going to feed from the Xbox. I'm going to get a splitter. So there's basically two signals, so that I can choose whether I'm gonna play the Xbox in the living room or play it on this screen here. And then for streaming, obviously, um, it's about five meters away, I'd say, maybe. Yeah, so the Xbox is about five meters away. So I need, obviously, at the camera, if I'm gonna use Mixer, which uses the, the camera on the Xbox, then I've got this extra long USB cable extender here, and then in this bit, so the USB socket will go in the back of the Xbox, and then the camera that I've got that when I want to sort of use mixer on the Xbox and not use a, a setup on the PC, put the USB of the camera in, in here, and this little box sort of, because the cable's quite long, you're gonna lose some of the signal, so this little box here 
boosts the signal so hopefully the camera will work and I can either stream direct on the Xbox sitting in the living room or stream sometimes like I want to stream here with Streamlabs OBS set up on the laptop uh, and do it from here so I've got the choice. Um, and then one more little thing I've decided it's time I hardwire the Xbox instead of use the Wi-Fi if I want to take this sort of stuff seriously. So I've got some Cat7 uh, Ethernet cable here, really long. I'm going to run that sort of up and over the walls. In this house there used to be a speaker set up and the guy obviously ran these speaker cables through some white conduit, which is still there. And I ripped out the old um, wires that were in there, just cut them off and just left them in there. And I'm going to reuse that and then some other white uh, conduit to sort of cover this up. Um, and then basically from the broadband, the BT sort of modem, run this straight into the back of the Xbox so I'm not relying on uh, Wi-Fi and hopefully get more of a consistent signal. Apparently I went a bit overboard and got Cat7 cable, I guess future proof, but um, I was really watched on YouTube somewhere and a Cat6 is fine really. Um, but it was only a few extra quid more, so um, I guess a, a bit more, um, yeah, uh, ready, it's a bit more future proof uh, should things change and I need um, a higher speed cable. So Cat7 cable there, nice long strip of it. It's uh, the flat variety. I haven't taken out the packet yet, but it's the cable that's quite flat. Um, so that's kind of it. So I'm going to rig it up and see, uh, rig the Xbox up now before I start drilling holes in the wall because I'm going to run the HDMI cable. Um, there's a little sort of a small opening, a small sort of wall gap here run it through behind the bookshelves and then straight into that monitor so uh, and put it on the other HDMI socket there's two there um, and see how that works. So I've got the HDMI cable running from the Xbox which is about five meters away there over there got it plugged into here cabling looks a mess at the, at the moment I also run an extended USB cable to this uh, camera here so if I want to go uh, and broadcast. Let's see if that works. Uh, set up broadcast. Uh, camera options. Let's just say, say show the camera position. There you see down there. There's up there and the camera's hello. And the camera's working all fine there. So if I want to stream uh, via mixer on the Xbox then I can do that. Uh, using that or if I want to stream on Twitch or YouTube etc or go a bit more advanced I have uh, an Elgato, an Elgato, call it what you will, an Elgato, Elgato um, so I can now set that up all here and then run that through um, OBS on the uh, on the gaming PC so what I basically need to do is hide the cables I haven't hardwired the Xbox to the broadband yet. So I said the guy that used to live here had some existing cabling conduit here for his speaker system. Obviously, I mean, pretty roughly put in, but it saves me having to place right now. I can do it later. Um, so the Cat7 Ethernet cable that I've got basically runs all the way down there um, to the back of along that's one where I put in the conduit there um, into the back of the Xbox which is under the TV unit there um, let's see and then what I'll do is I'll it goes all the way down the conduit he had for his speakers all the way down here and then I just need to put some on the back and then rather roughly the guy had drilled a hole like for the electrics just you can see like just there um, so what I'm going to do you can get these covers uh, which has got brushes on them and it just tidies it up so uh, a I've got to fe feed the Ethernet cable through that hole somehow so I'll work that out probably put a little tiny tube in there and put the Ethernet cable through there so I can get it through because on the other side of this wall here is the uh, BT hub so um, 
as I say, the guy who lived here before, he did a pretty shoddy job of DIY here and there, but um, I'll take advantage of what he's already done and then I'll come and tidy it up later. So in network settings, I plugged the ethernet cable into the back of the Xbox. So I switched it off then, plugged it into the back then switched it on again and straight away, you can see there, it says wired. You don't have to do anything else. It recognizes it's wired. It takes it off the wireless. I didn't have to sort of take wireless off or anything. Just stuck it in. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the Xbox working on this screen. Uh, what I don't want to have to do is keep taking the HDMI socket um, and from the other TV screen in the living room and taking it out and swapping them around all the time. So what we need is a, like um, a splitter that will send the signal to here when I want it to send to come to here and to the main TV when I want it to go to TV. So I just push a button and it will send the signal to the one that I want it to be at. Now, um, I already bought uh, a splitter um, for the setup I've got upstairs in which I have uh, an Xbox in my daughter's room um, and a 10 meter, I think it's a 10 meter, 15 meter HDMI cable which then goes through the ceiling uh, into my son's room and he can play the Xbox on his telly in there without moving the Xbox from my daughter's room and everything works. We know that that all works. So this is the splitter I use um, on the upstairs setup uh, and it's powered because obviously I'm sending the, the signal over a 15 meter uh, HDMI cable and the signal will deteriorate so it, this amplifies the signal uh, and this is a 4K HDR 3D so it makes sure maintains that signal. Now what I did for here uh, for the living room setup and the, the office setup here is I just bought a bi-directional splitter. So, for instance, if you don't have enough HDMI sockets on the back of your telly, then you can have two sources, say a, a, a Blu-ray and a gaming, a, 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 an Xbox, whatever, and then it can go into your telly. Or you can have the signal from the Xbox, for example, and then send it to two displays. So it's bi-directional, goes both ways. And then there's a little button here which says send it to that screen one or send it to that screen two. So I bought this for the setup here but of course what I forgot and what I should have done really is, is that one of the cables I'm using to get the signal from the Xbox in the living room through to here in the office section uh, is a 15 meter cable and the picture deteriorates. And when I first tried this um, I could see some noise, especially on the blacks. So when I called up uh, PUBG, uh, there, there was noise. So I realized what I should have done is just bought another one of these because this amplifies the signal. And also in this, I noticed it says something about um, some limitations on the Xbox. Please set resolution down and not exceed 4K at 30, uh, H said when using PS4 Pro or Xbox One X. Well, I'm not using Xbox One X, but um, yeah, this this basically is bi-directional splitter is not as good as this amplifier splitter. So what I'm going to do is buy another one of these. Uh, but before I do, I want to test that this works all right. So let's do that. Okay, so this is the the powered one, and I know this works upstairs, and it sends the signal um, as I say over the longer. Uh, distance HDMI cable so in a way I'm a bit of a fool I should have just bought another one of these but we'll try to see whether before we do that we'll try to see whether it works so let's do a swap around um, and the difference with this is it sends a signal to both places at once which is fine if this tell I don't mind because if the telly's not on or it's not on the Xbox chat channel it's fine you can carry on doing what you need to do um, right. So this time we don't have to swap between the channels and it, although it's powered it seems to sort of, you see the lights there that's getting the signal. Let's go and see 
this time. So the signal is still on the Xbox there. The question is, is it going to be on the Xbox over here? And, as you can see, it's on the Xbox over here. So there you go, so it was pretty uh, straightforward at the end of the day. I guess the tips are, um, you know, you don't have to go overboard on your Ethernet cable when you're uh, hardwiring the Xbox straight, you know, having a, an Ethernet connection to the Xbox. Um, but no harm in future-proofing, I guess. And bear in mind that when you buy really long HDMI cable, um, the signal can deteriorate, and then if you start adding in splitters and things like that, um, then you need to get the sort of thing that will amplify the HDMI signal uh, so you don't get any degradation of that of HDMI signal. Um, and yeah, unless you're a, a proper sort of a, a builder type who can kind of crack into the walls and, and then replaster them, then you're going to have to use um, sort of white cable hides or conduit, white conduit and stuff like that to hide some of the cables to you know tidy it up. But generally I'm pretty happy with the setup. It seems to be working all right um, and it gives me the flexibility um, that I want. So yeah, I hope you found it useful. Any comments put, uh, put down below. Don't forget to like this video, much appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, then what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it um, and thank you.